Doris Day and James Cagney in the same film, you have my full attention. That being said, Love Me or Leave Me is actually one of my least favourite Doris Day films. And while that may not be saying much because she's done a lot of such amazing films, I just never really felt that connected to this film. At no point did I really feel emotionally invested in the characters. There was nothing wrong with the performance, nothing, definitely nothing wrong with the casting. But for me, there was just something lacking in it that didn't, there was nothing that really made me go, wow, that was amazing. It was released in 1955, directed by Charles Vider or Vider, uh, and written by Daniel Fuchs and Isabel Lenart, and is based on the career of jazz singer Ruth Etting. Now, I haven't heard of her, I don't know anything about her. Maybe if I did know more about her, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd pick up different things in the film that I may have otherwise missed. So I'm certainly well aware that that could be something if I were to read on about Ruth Etting in the future and then go back to this film, I'd probably get more out of it. I should point out as well that this film actually won an Oscar. Um, it won the Oscar for Best Writing, which is fair enough. So I do think in terms of the production quality, it is a good film. Visually, stunning. Vocally, amazing. The costumes are great. The acting's great. The on-screen chemistry is brilliant. In terms of the casting of Ruth Etting, obviously that's Doris Day. I can't say how much she emulates the characteristics of the real Ruth Etting because, as I said, I don't know anything about her. If you have an opinion on that, I'd love to hear it. But for me personally... I at least enjoyed her performance. I mean, I always will. And there are some good songs in this. Everybody Loves My Baby um, is a song that I quite like. The actual song Love Me or Leave Me is not bad. It's pretty decent in terms of the soundtrack. James Cagney plays Martin, Martin Snyder, who is Etting's husband... Um, but he's a gangster and he's kind of, he's he's not the best character and they have an unusual relationship and this unfolds throughout the film. It's interesting to see those characters develop both separately and together. Ultimately, I enjoyed it for Doris Day's performances. Whenever she opens her mouth, I smile. The narrative just didn't grip me. Maybe it's because I don't like jazz music. I'm not 100% opposed to jazz music. But there's a lot of jazz music that I don't really like. It's not my kind of thing. Maybe that's it. I'm struggling to pinpoint why exactly I didn't love it. Given that it's an Oscar winner, it's got 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb. So it's very well received. And it's just not for me, I guess, one of those films. Because I can see the production value. I can see that it's a quality film. Maybe I just need to be more emotionally invested in the subject matter. Nevertheless, Doris Day and James Cagney, it's a film I will watch again. I will give this film another chance at some point in the future, probably once I've finished with Doris Day. I will never be finished with Doris Day, but I have three more of her films left to watch. And then I've got the Doris Day show, which I think was like five seasons. And then maybe I'll come back to this and see how I feel then. If you can recommend any reading about Ruth Etting, um, let me know and I might check out some more information about her and then come back to this. If my opinion is revised, I'll put it in the description. But to be honest, I don't feel like it will be, at least not much. It's not a bad film. I didn't not like watching it. But it's definitely, definitely near the bottom of my list of favourite Doris Day films. 